Hi, it's Craig from Theta360.guide You know, I've recently been a bit frustrated by the 25 minute limit of the Ricoh Theta V to record 4K or 2K video. So I've been working with the plugin a bit and I've got the time up for a 2K video to roughly about an hour and a half. And for 4K video, I'm recording about 48 minutes now. I'll tell you how to do it soon. It's relatively easy. I have also have another plugin for 2K video for surveillance. The quality is a little bit lower that I can record for over four hours. Okay, so to use the plugin, you first turn on the camera, you press the lower mode button here for two seconds to put the camera into plugin mode. The white LED will turn on. Once the LED is turned on, you press the shutter button and the video will start recording. Once I'm done with the record, I'm going to, I can press the shutter button again and I'll stop the video recording. The limitation is the 19 gigabyte storage internal to the camera. Once it reaches 19 gigabytes, the, the program will stop. So I've showed you how to use the plugin. It's very easy. All you need to do is an extra step to press the lower mode button of the camera to put it into plug-in mode. So, if you want to switch between the three different plugins that I described, the 4K spatial audio video, which can take 48 minutes, the 2K stereo video, which can, which can take up to an hour and a half, or the surveillance video, which is in, in it right now, I'll show you how to switch it around. The way to switch between the plugins is to use the Rico Theta desktop tool. Under the file menu, there's a plugin management tool. Select that. I have the camera connected with a USB cable. I'm pressing OK. You can now see a list of plugins. So, surveillance or long 2K video. I'll press done because I want to use this long 2K video and we're good to go. At this point, all you need to do is change the camera from into plug-in mode. Once it's in plug-in mode, you press the shutter button, you're good to go. To stop it, you press the shutter button again. It's that simple. Because this is a developer uh, version of the plug-in, you do need to go through several steps to install it. We can help you through it. Here's the basic steps. You first get the APK, it stands for Android Package, save it to a folder on your computer. Once the plugin is saved to your computer, you can go into that folder, use this command, ADB, install, and it's the name of the file. So in this case, it's ADB install long hyphen 4K hyphen video hyphen dot APK. Press enter. The computer will transfer the file over to the camera using the USB cable. You'll see a success sign. You're good to go at this point. There is one final step. Use a tool like Visor. You have to enable the permissions on the plugin. Go to settings, select apps. Look for the name of the plugin. I just installed the 4K video plugin. Select the 4K video plugin. Select permissions. You have to enable camera, microphone, and storage. Okay, you're good to go. This is a one time only step. The next time you use the plugin, you do not need to, use to uh, go through the step. You only need to go through the step because we're using a developer version of the plugin. Once it's in the store, you don't, you don't have to do this. To use it, again, you just place it into plug-in mode, press the shutter button, and you're good to go. It's, it should take it for up to 48 minutes. Thanks for joining me for that video. We've shown you how to use the plugin, how to manage the plugin so that you can change the plugin versus 2K, 4K, or surveillance mode videos. And we've also shown you how to install the plugin. So you should be good to go right now. However, there are still a few tips on post-production. After you take the video, you need to transfer the video from the camera to your computer 
if you're using spatial audio, there's still a few things you also need to do. We'll give you some additional tips in the future in another video. There's also a guide that will link below in this video that outlines the steps of how to use tools like Premiere Pro to merge the spatial audio and video files or how to adjust the metadata in the, vi in the video file itself. Stay tuned and thanks for joining us.